Keyframes are a powerful feature in video editing that can take your videos to the next level. Top creators use keyframes effectively to grab viewers' attention and keep them engaged. In this video, I'll show you how to use keyframes step by step. Don't worry, this guide is beginner friendly and I'll walk you through the process. For this video, I'll be using CapCut, but the same principles apply to most video editing software. By setting keyframes at different points, you can create smooth transitions and dynamic effects that enhance your video's appeal. Click on the clip in the timeline. Look for the small diamond icon in the property section. Click the diamond icon to set your first keyframe. Uncheck the icon to end the keyframe. Any property with the diamond icon can be animated using keyframes. Let's explore how to use them. Select the clip, then move the timeline slider to where you want the animation to begin. Click the diamond icon to add a keyframe. To end the keyframe, move the slider to the desired end position and set another keyframe. Modify the clip's position, scale, rotation, or opacity. These changes will animate between the two keyframes. This technique works for both video clips and images. To animate audio, select the audio clip and navigate to the audio section. Add keyframes to the volume property to create fade-ins, fade-outs, or dynamic audio adjustments. <music> Lastly, to animate color, go to the adjustment section, scroll down to find properties like contrast, exposure, and saturation. Add keyframes to animate these color settings and create stunning visual effects. That's it for this video. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more editing tips and tutorials. See you in the next video.